Hello YouTube fans, Garfi signing on. Um, this video is on the um, runner charge controller. Um, this charge controller goes by two names, the runner charge controller and the um, iPonda charge controller. They are the um, same people who makes the um, E Smart 3 um, charge controller and so on. I've seen a few videos out there on these um, runner slash iPad charge controller that they're no good and they have problem or issue tracking MPPT to give you a uh, maximum um, charge current. However, if we all know about anything pertaining to MPPT, include a uh, charge controller or a um, grid tie unit, they enjoy a higher voltage, PV voltage I should say. The higher the PV voltage you could push it, it's the better uh, this unit perform to do a um, maximum power point tracking, included outback included sunny sky included um, um, all those american name brand unit mppt unit enjoy a higher voltage higher pv voltage so they could track much better so this is a software on the uh, runner charge controller and i want you guys to pay close attention on how this um, charge control is performing. I want you to look at PV watts coming from the PV and going into the battery. That's how much of a um, performance or conversion this unit um, 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 performs. Same thing, look at the amps on PV amps 7.3 and um, going into the battery at 16.5. Look at my PV volt 56 point three you know but look at the PV watts uh, 412 point one um, 408 and the amps it's just steady so like I said I see a video and um, I think on this video he's using a um, I think it's a, probably a 35 watts um, 35 volt solar panel to charge I think it's 24 volts battery one 35 volt solar panel to charge a 24 volt um, battery bank and then he complains and whine and throw stone at these equipment saying that they are no good and they're a piece of shit I mean we are good and we buy these Chinese product because that's what we can afford. And then we nitpick and we do not do the installation properly, you know, or not paying attention to what we're doing. And then we nitpick and then we blame all these Chinese products and say, oh, they are cheap Chinese product. If that's the case, if, 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 if these units are so horrible, why don't you buy the Flexmax 80? Why don't you buy the Midnight Classics? Why don't you buy the Xantrax? If you think that the Xantrax and the Flexmax 80s and the Midnight Classics are um, God Almighty, you know, heaven sent, why don't, you know, we all just buy those things if we think that they are so, so good. But look, look at my PV power. Top right. And look at my um, battery charging power. Look at my PV voltage, 55.7, uh, it's fluctuating. 
Well, look at the amps, 7.5 amps from the PV and to the battery, 16.6 and so forth and so on. You know, too too much of us DIY. You know, you know, we we you know we we, we we you know we venture off into DIY where solar is concerned for our home for many different reasons. You know, and um, and you know, we buy these Chinese product and and then we just bash it and not paying attention to our mistakes and the things that we are doing sometimes, and we quick you know we quick. We're quick to point fingers and not pointing fingers at ourselves and taking responsibility or the blame for the things that we do. Incorrect sizing, you know, all these things. You know, uh, PV power. Look at my PV power. And look at what going to the battery. Look at that. And look at what going to the battery. That's good conversion. That is proper conversion. That's that's proper conversion. Anyway, that was just a um, quick chit chat on these um, Chinese product, or a quick chit chat on my runner charge controller. Garfield signing off.